Shalom, shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamal Mahar here back at it again. First thing first, we give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Lord Jerusalem from GMS. Blessings to the Agamemnon there preaching his word. Whole our true sincerity. Blessed 144,000, one third entirely. The first fruit kingdom of heaven, House of David, that be after that would die. And shall I want to be brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations? Shall I want to be brothers? So today, brothers of the spirit, I was a uh, uh, Shabbat Shalom to you, brothers as well. You know, I was um, uh, meditating on uh, a vid, and um, uh, I, had, I had a couple of notes written down in general uh, regarding you know one, one of our last uh, camps that me and the brothers was uh, on the highways and hedges. We pretty much was going into how our people are uh, you know are far gone, and uh, so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Samoan Indians. You know where they particularly don't even want to consider the word or the truth, and they rather go, you know, stay in the world and and deal with their um, ungodly ways, as, as the scriptures will get into, especially especially here in Second Peter. Uh, second Peter is um is Second Peter the second chapter is uh is a real good uh what you would call a um explanation of how our people move and think, and um what's going on is um is you know. We all know that the Lord is the control of everything, but it's also sad to see that our people, you know, don't care about the Lord or even consider what's, what's happening or the prophecies or anything in that nature. And they're so much more, um, you know, concentrated on, you know, the filthy conversations of the wicked, which is which also part of the scripture was that seven verse. And um, and also the dainties and the conveniences that, that, that this particular Babylon, the great has. Um, that's pretty much keeping them, keeping our people down. Rather than following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, they rather follow the ways of uh, Esau on the left hand side and stick with the bring down. Right. So actually, man, you know what I'm gonna do is actually what I'm gonna do is, which is really, which is really, uh, really dope. There's a lot of meat on Second Peter. I'm just going to kind of pretty much uh, write it down. So lock it. It says. Uh, it says uh second peter 2 but there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring bring in damnable heresies even denying the lord yahweh shah that bought them and bring upon themselves a swift destruction and that's exactly and that's exactly uh what's going on so like bro so let me go ahead and uh um so yeah so um there's a lot of, uh, you know, and we see that, you know, you got your, uh, your IUICs or, you know, any, any particular, you know, IHSBK or any camp that's pretty much going against the true doctrine of, of scriptures is what this is talking about. Let alone, you got our people, um, we want the hobbies and hedges, our people that, you know, believe in other religions and have other philosophies and, and other, and other, um, you know, idols that they, they worship, you know, they're so stuck in their ways that. You know, they they they're the stumbling block is pretty much set on them. So, right here it says, even as there shall be a false teachers uh, among you who privily shall bring the damned heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring and bring upon themselves a swift destruction. And that's um and that's and that's what's going on to our people, especially when the opposite of Yahweh Shah, they will go at Allah or Muhammad or they're in they're in uh, these other religions. You know, the stumbling block got them believing the opposite of what's really the truth. You know what I mean? It's when when Yahweh Shah is the way, but then again, they're they're in their little situation where Allah is the way, and that's far that's, that's super far. It says, and many shall follow their their the, uh, pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Right. So even even when you know us brothers are actually speaking the truth from whatever uh whatever portion of the road that we're that we're reading from out of the scriptures. It could be as simple as uh, uh, the, the 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 wicked, the heathens are going to go into slavery for enslaving us. Uh, So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians are the real God's chosen people, rather than the Amulek, those fake, those 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 uh, FJs, right? And so, and so, what we're actually bringing out, what the scriptures are actually getting into, you know, it could be considered an e evil of spoken of, right? It could is hate speech and things of that nature. And so, when we when we try to give our people the game. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, they're far off and don't want nothing to do with it. Especially, especially from the the, the uh, conveniences of what they're already involved in. Like this one brother, we was in our camp, 
Uh, one of the biggest reasons why Jake probably uh, most likely two thirds of our people can't get down with, uh, with with the truth is because it requires some type of a change. You know, like okay, now we know not to deal with another man's woman, or smoking weed, or you know, um, or just you know, uh, unwise decisions, eating pork, shrimp, and lobster, or cutting your beard off in general. You know, little you know stuff like that or whatever. That require you to, you know, to, you know, start not doing. You know what I mean? So, so but then the the religions they're in are are convenient enough where they don't have to change. So they rather still with the still, do, you know, do as thou wilt spirit situation. And so when they hear what we gotta say, next thing you know is, you know, it's 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 evil spoken of. You know what I mean? Especially um, from the atrocities that's been done on 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 Israel. You know, the Lord said that we're going to be able to get our get back. That's hate speech. It's evil. But it's also very righteous and fair because, you know, you read what you sow. And what it says in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, well, I believe, what, 15, 16 is where the Lord requires uh, with the past. Right? And it says, um, three, and through covetousness shall they with rain, or was uh, feigned words, make merchandise of you. Whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Right, and so yeah, so you know, and that and that's that sucks in a way, but the Lord, the Lord is on His own time. So, uh, what it's getting into is the fact that like their their um their their judgment is like you know like it's not a far off, but they're able to make them they're able to do certain things wickedly that they're necessarily not really judged immediately in general. But even so, like like the, like I, like I just said through the scriptures, the Lord say required was passed. So it seems like their judgment now is a long time lingering. It's not. It's set for an important time, just like all the prophecies are and, and set and set judgments and how the Lord has set up in general. You know, Yahabashah returning, the chip coming, everything got a set measure. And even though it says linger, it says linger if not, and their damnation slumber if not. So it is. It's, there's no putting on pause or whatever like like uh, was it Habakkuk 2 and 3 that the, the, the things are set for an appointed time the visions right even judgment itself and it says uh for if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh spared not the angels that sin but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be res reserved unto judgment yeah ain't no getting away and this is talking about those angels also coming down coming down these fleshy bodies because the, those chains of darkness are, are, are as the flesh you know, you you we've been reduced down to our um to a a, a lower down estate, right? Because our first estate was of the is of the heavenly like bodies that was righteous and sin proof, no longer in those. So we're 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 under chains of darkness to be reserved into judgment, depending on which side you on. Now in this case scenario is making a reference of of what we are in now, but also it's still is it's still also in the same situation, the same accord. Whenever uh, just know that the Lord requires what it what is passed, and even even on that situation, if they gonna get judged like that, then so will so will you as well. And um, it says and it says uh, five and spared not the whole world, um, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the uh, ungodly. And what was uh what was um Noah doing? Prophesying the same thing. They were saying it was hate speech as well. He treated him the same way. But at the same time, the Lord making an example, which is going to get into, it said, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overflow, making making them an example unto those that are that that uh, that after should should live ungodly. Right. So so when we when, when when we were in the hobbies and hedges and we're actually you know preaching the word and giving it to our people, they not trying to hear none of that. They not trying to hear none of that. Like you can take that over where you want to go. And hey, and like we say all the time on our on our, on our own on 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 highways and hedges, you know, hey, that the Lord, you know, the Lord going um is going to get at them. And we we look forward to our people, you know, getting judged. Remember, it says that the Lord would will start start at his house first, especially the ones who know they're Israelites, right? And so so teaching it to knowing you're Israelite and going against the grain, that's a it's a pretty first one on the list, big dog. You know what I mean? It's not good, but the Lord made an example of how how you shouldn't be. And what and what and what is one of our, one of the biggest things that our people are getting into is that Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah behavior. They real big on that, and and was also pretty uh, what you call uh, blas blas blasphemy 
is the fact that you can actually be in a Sodom and Gomorrah uh, behavior, but also try to pump the Bible in general or even reference it, which should be, you know, that should be a scary thing to even deal with. But but we live in a society where Esau on the left hand side, you know, philosophies make our people, you know, got our people, you know, um, in a trick bag with the whole damn, uh, you know, philosophies and idols that they are getting into. But, uh, but ultimately, though, it's the Lord, because remember, the deceive and deceiver is his. So they, they in the trick bag in general. But remember, where where it says that they, they, they're pretty much reserved unto judgment. And that's what that is. And it says, uh, six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overflow, making them an example unto those that, that, that after should live ungodly. And what's crazy is two-thirds of our people... You know, uh, gotta gotta go and gonna be get brought brought back into the kingdom. But also, it's gonna it's gonna be in a very similar fashion, of like Sodom and Gomorrah with those thermonuclear missiles. You know what I mean? You know, our people are gonna be missile food, and then come back through the through the loins of the elect, and then and then end up being able to be welcomed into the kingdom. But they gotta they gotta but they they gotta they gotta uh, go through that first. And it says, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And I was just bringing that out last camp too. And that's exactly what's going on. Once you come on this side and you actually understand what Yahweh what, what Hashem uh, entails and scriptures and you have the understanding through, through that gift of faith and belief, um, you now become on the emotional side of the Lord. So when you start noticing wickedness is happening, it affects you and make you upset. You know what I mean? We don't. We ain't trying to hear nothing about no Sodom and Gomorrah behavior. We ain't trying to be nowhere near nothing that's going to be against the Yah bashing out Shah to a blatantly disrespectful scenario and then entertain it. Because you know, once once we hear it, it's disrespectful, so it can make us upset, which is also vex. That says for the for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, and that's what's going on. You know, I. I I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I frowned upon, uh, you know, I, I make faces and, you know, I, I I feel disgusted when I see certain behavior, especially the Solomon Gomorrah type one that with the LMNOP community. It said the Lord, the Lord know of how to deliver the, uh, the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Right. And that's what's going to happen. And so, you know, even our even two thirds of our people, man, they don't want to hear nothing we got to say, but they running that tab up. And as they running that tab up, you know, they, it seemed like they're in a good situation. Uh, the wicked, some a lot of times, win on this side, but but little do they know, they're actually being preserved for for judgment. It could be famine, it could be a uh, disord, um, it could be um, uh, or, or 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 that or that missile food, right? It's gonna come down in one of them situations. Um, you know what I mean? Something gonna go down real bad, especially in Jacob's trouble when that comes. Which also we bring that out, and they they, they not trying to hear that too because it's utter destruction and utter the worst time that the the mankind's ever seen before. The the type of terror that's coming on this place. Don't nobody really want to hear that. They want to stay in their you know prosperity doctrine situation. And it says it says ten, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government presumptuous. Are, are they self-willed they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities you see that so they so they can buck up against the brothers they can say whatever they want you know even curse the lord you know let alone curse the lord and have all kinds of negativity stuff to say about you know yahabashim yahusha and even names in general uh or even or even what we represent on a, on a righteous level right and it says, and it says, self will. You know what I mean? Which you know, there's no free will. But in the, at the end of the day, though, once they once they don't have that gift of of, of the truth, you know, then that's when um, Second Thessalonians two nine through eleven would kick in, where they have we have, where they do not have the love of the truth. So not having the love of the truth, then you're 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 obviously exposed to think negatively against it. That's that's pretty much where it's going. And it says, whereas angels which are greater in power and might, bring not railing uh, accusation against them before the Lord. There you go. It says, but these, are, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Right, and that's the point. That's where that free will thing, that that uh, self-will thing, right. So it's not really saying they got free will, but in a way you can look at it to a certain degree. But look at it like this. 
If you have the spirit of the Lord, you want to move a certain way. And if you have the, if you don't have the spirit of the Lord, and and, and then you don't quite understand, and then your brain is is encompassed, you know, is consumed with the philosophies of the wicked, you know, Esau's system, and and what's got and what's going on, and you hold on to it. It's easy for, or what you would call self-will, to go against the grain opposite of what you believe. So if you, if, if you don't believe in your Habashim then you're going to be self-willed to think negative, evil, unrighteous, being unclean, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it says, and, they, and they're going to be pretty much perishing their own corruption. Because the Lord not dealing with them, and he, set up, and he set up for failure. Everybody got a lot to play as a role to play in a lot in, in, in these scriptures that's, that's set for a situation. Hey, listen, the Lord said he had mercy on who he had mercy and compassion on you compassion. If you set up for judgment, you set up for judgment. If you set up for salvation, you set up for salvation. It's just that simple. There really is really no other, other thing to go add into it. And it says, and shall receive the reward of the unrighteous that you go as they, as, as they that counted pleasure to riot in the, in the, in, in the daytime. It says, it says spots. They are, and blemishes sporting themselves with their own de de uh, deceivings while they feast with you right that's another thing too shoot man you know, you know that could be family it could be friends and they can they, they can end up rock vibing with you but still feel the opposite situation that's the unrighteous and the un and the unbelief man it is what it is and it says having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin but beg uh, beguiling unstable souls and heart they uh, they have exercised their covetous practices cursed children right different religions you know um the universe terror cards all kinds of shit that they into and they're actually like their eyes are full of it because remember they don't have the the love of the young most high so they're so they're going to re rely on whatever it is they think is good and remember remember it's what they think and the lord not dealing with them so the lord left them to their own devices you know what I mean? Like, okay, cool. You know, I, ain't, I ain't fucking with them anyway. So I'm going to go and let them believe what they're going to believe. But these people right here on this side, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Single Indians, you know, I'm dealing with y'all, which is the elect. The elect is which, which is what's being dealt with. Um, is the group of people of the Israelites is being dealt with predominantly uh, or whole, wholeheartedly. 15, which have forsaken the right way and are going astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bazar, who loved the wages of the unrighteous, see? You know what I'm saying? You see that? And I believe Balaam was an Edomite, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was in Numbers or, or one of those, I think it was in Numbers 24 or whatever, where you think he died, or I forgot about it. One of them, one of them uh, books. And it says, uh, uh, but was rebuked for his iniquity, dumbass speaking with man's voice, forbade the madness of the prophet. Right, yeah, I mean, yeah that is the guy. It said, these are well without water. These are wells without water, so the word is also considered like living waters. Clouds that are carried with a tempest to, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever, right? And it says, the nuclear, uh, the nuclear uh, fire. And it says, for, for when they speak great swellings, uh, great swelling words, great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh through, and, and through much of uh, wantonness, those that were clean escaped from, from them who live in error. You see that? And that and that's just pretty much what it is. They just living in they just living in error. You know what I mean? Swelling words and believe everything's what it is. And you just it's a bunch of bullshit. And it, then it, and then it also goes into the wantonness. Just wander around, just you know, uh, pride, ego, you know what I mean? It's just all not good. And, it's, and, it, and what it does is, it says those that were clean escape, escape from them who live in error, right? It says, while they promised them liberty, they, they, they themselves are the servants of corruption for of whom a man is overcome of the same as he that brought in bondage. And that's what the, and, and that's, and that's where all the tendencies and the decision making and, and all the things they got themselves into is pretty much what it is. They're servants of corruption. And, we we are in the know, you know, us hopeful elect, um, as 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 an Israelite for situation, we're we're the we're the servants of righteousness because we have an a, a idea, what my brother would call the I South. We are we are hip to the game to understand what's good and what's not good, and we're trying our best to stay on the right path because we know Yahweh Shah's on the scene. It's going to come on the scene very soon to deliver his elect, and Lord willing, we could be a part of that number to, to be, be to be beamed up. And it says for. For, for hereafter, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and, 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 and the Savior, Yahweh Shah, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them that, than the beginning. See, that's crazy. And so this knowledge of Yahweh Shah is what we preaching. They don't obviously have that. 
which will which will allow them to escape the pollutions of the world. You see what I'm saying? Because in order to do so, you need the knowledge of Yahweh Shah, which is the scriptures, in order to escape the situation. It's plain as clear. So for it, for it had been been better for them not to have known the way of the righteousness than than after they they have known it to turn from the holy commandment to deliver unto them. And that's and that's taking your hand off the plow. There's some brothers who actually know the truth and would actually probably, you know, not even probably, were actually preaching on the highways and hedges was with with a camp and then turning back. It was better for you not to even know what it was than then knew what it was and then went off or whatever. And so that's a that's that's a further point of the fact that, you know, um that uh that our people are 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 rebellious and they're a push off situation. They don't want any, they don't want nothing to do with anything but rather still do with the still deal with the lust of, of, of this world. Right? And and that's against Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. But but it has happened unto them according to the truth the true proverb the dog is turned into his own vomit again and so that and and and, and the soul that was washed to her uh, wallowing in the mire and so that's going into again you know that the you know the brothers who who went back in the world after he had the knowledge of the truth at the end of the day though it proves the point that our people don't want nothing to do with the situation and that's some scary shit to be involved with the truth and then you turn your back and then let it go and then go back to what the philosophy you just already got yourself out of in the first place so you was in the world came into the truth and went back into the world of the one thing that you you was i guess you you know which you wasn't supposed to do in the first place and turned yourself back into a gentile hey that's not good man and we need to and like i say from time to time we need to pray and the water you have know shy for having his truth and we're so close at the end that we're still rocking and we're still rolling you know what i mean so i brought this out of brothers that was the edifying two brothers lord willing and give all praise and and glory to yahweh by shim yabashah by shim kakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders learning truth truth from from GMS, blessing to Akimah that preaches word, or heart to sincerity, blessing 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, the house of David, the Biaf, that would die, and also uh, Yahweh, he is to be exist by Hashem in the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem in the name, and the Holy Spirit of Rekakwadash. Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations as well. Shalom.